Hey guys, it's Ricky. I'm back. Um, I just got some of these gloves in the mail. It was about that time to uh, replace them. I usually take really good care of my gloves, but since I got some new ones, I figured I would show you guys how to uh, apply your Nick wax and make sure that uh, this lasts a long time. And I guess, you know, this, whatever, Leather Balm Nick wax is just kind of a brand that I normally use. But we got some new Hestras here. Not a sponsor. Hit me up though, that would be sweet. And uh, they come with a little bottle of this balm. And basically, I don't know, it looks like Vaseline most of the time. Let's see, I'll open it up really quick and see. Yep. So as you can see, squirt a little bit out. Kind of what you'd expect it to look like. I'm not gonna quite use it yet because we gotta talk about a couple of things. All right, so the first thing is before you ever use your gloves, you because they're clean, right? They're clean at this point. Um, this is when you want to do this. You can do this when your gloves are dirtier too, it, but it's just going to, they're going to stay looking dirty, especially like with white gloves like this. You got to be careful with that. Um, the other thing that's important is you don't want to do this process while it's cold. Um, you want the leather to be as malleable as possible. You want the pores in the leather to be as open as possible <clears throat> so that they can receive the balm that we're putting in there. So the goal is to try and just cover every single pore with this and it becomes this shield against the water. Now, you're like, okay, well, how do we make sure that this is warm enough, right? There's two things that I have done that work really well for this. So if you're at home, you got an oven, you can turn your oven on, on the lowest temperature, on the very, very lowest temperature, and you can keep your gloves in there. Um, I would just kind of keep an eye on them, not even having the oven closed once it's warmed up to whatever temperature is, is the lowest, and just kind of, you know, make sure they're not getting super hot, especially if your gloves have a fabric kind of component to it. You're gonna wanna be careful of that, but if you keep a watchful eye, you can do that. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. That's definitely a really pay attention kind of thing, but another thing that people normally have, which I kinda of like doing this a little more sometimes, is having a blow dryer. Um, sometimes you can get a little bit carried away with this and it's harder to leave the gloves alone, but this is a good way to warm them up. So before you do anything, um, before you start applying any wax, warm them up. Make sure they're warm and soft. Not hot, you know, because you got to handle them and you don't want them to get messed up. So, yeah, you're going to warm them up first. All right. Probably just go to warm and high. Yeah, just so you know, warm and high, this was, uh, this feels like plenty, so... Okay, so we warm the gloves up with the hair dryer. They're not super hot. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the balm, right? Whatever this is for you. Just make sure it's leather balm or Nick Wax or what, whatever it is, you know. And I just go for a small application, all right? In a, in a bunch of places where I know I'm gonna be rubbing the stuff and I'm like, I'm taking such a tiny little bit here and I'm just putting it on these little places here instead of taking like a big glob and rubbing it everywhere because then you end up missing spots. And we're just trying to get our first layer just nice and thorough. I wanna like get in the seams. Those are important. Now, I could show you guys this whole glove. 
can show you guys me doing this whole glove. Well, maybe I should. I don't know, guys. But you see, like, all of the little cracks where they're stitching. We're just going to take our time and really, really get in there. That's where we're going to start seeing the damage as the leather dries and those stitches are obviously point of failure. So we're going to take our time doing that. I'm going to finish this off camera, but I am going to do all the stuff that's like here and here. Now, when it comes to the fabric, I'm not going to touch that with a leather bomb at all. In the past, I have done that because I'm like, well, I might as well seal it, but it kind of makes the glove look tacky. So we'll come back in a little bit once I've done this one and that one. And then I'll show you guys um, what you can do after your first application. OK. All right, guys. So I don't know if you can see this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That first initial pass you want to go ham on. So you see how there, the stitching is here and there's a little bit of separation. We can put that nick wax or that leather bomb in there and we can seal up those kind of gaps there. It's just going to be that much harder for water to damage. So really take your time that first, that first pass. Almost done with these and then I'll show you a cool little trick before we uh, keep on doing stuff. Okay, so um, we just put on our first layer of Nick Wax after we heat it up with a blow dryer. So we're gonna do this again. Now the thing about this process is you can, I think you could just keep doing it over and over, especially this first time. Um, I like to do it until I, you know, get run out of this, but you gotta be patient with it. You don't wanna put too much on or do it too fast. So warm them up, apply it, let them cool down, sit for a bit, warm them up again and apply it. Now once, you've done um, your first initial one, you warm up again, then I'll show you just the easier way to kind of get this done. Let's warm them up. Okay, so I got the gloves nice and toasty, so before they start cooling off on the second pass, now that we've gotten everything, I just like to put a little extra like that, maybe you can see that on on the gloves, and we'll maybe dot the kind of backs with some globs here too. Be careful not to like put that down on anything dirty while it's like this. And then we put the gloves on. I forgot to wash my hands before I do this, but it's too late. All right, so get your gloves on. And now you can just kind of start rubbing it in like you're uh, washing your hands. And that makes this whole process so much better. Just remember this is going to be easier while it's hot. Um, but this is a good way to just start applying bigger layers than that first really detailed one. Might even be able to squeeze this once. Yeah, it looks like we can get some more globs on there and just keep applying and heating, applying and heating. If you do this right the first time, then your gloves will keep you very warm throughout the winter because they won't be getting wet and they will last quite a long time too. And my last pair of Hestra gloves, I used them for more than 10 years of just actually raw skiing. So, yeah, guys, quick one there. If you guys found this helpful, uh, subscribe, throw a like on the video. And if you want to see more of my content, I do more fishing and skiing stuff. Um, check out the other playlists in the channel. I am one of the free ride coaches, so I coach the park kids at Winter Park, and uh, we'll be doing some cool content there, so be on the lookout, guys. All right, bye.